welcome to step-by-step -step stories today we're going to be talking a little bit about shopping for clothing something near and dear to many people's hearts but not so much for some people hopefully you've had a chance to listen to the story and you've learned that for some people shopping can be fun for other people it may make them a little bit anxious okay said there are some little tips that you can use to help make your shopping experience efficient and produce results all right the first thing that you need to do when before you go shopping is try and think about why why is it that you are shopping do you uh, know what it is that you are shopping for what do you need do you know where you're going to wear it? And do you know how much money you have to spend? One thing I like to do before heading out is to hop on the internet, do a little research, check and see what the product is that I'm looking for, costs generally, what the reviews are, what seems to be the best product, what seems to be the least expensive, all of that kind of information, okay? So make sure when you do go shopping that you do a little bit of research because it definitely does pay off for helping you to make your decision. Before heading out, let's do a few practical things. Make sure you have a snack. Make sure you use the washroom. And take a quick look in the mirror to make sure that you look tidy and clean okay we talked a little bit about that in our other lesson about looking good all right once you feel like you are full you've gone to the washroom and you're clean and tidy you're ready to go shopping when you go to the store Okay, some of you may go to an actual store, some of you may go to a shopping mall, which has lots of stores. Okay, when you go to the store, it is helpful if you do have a responsible adult with you. Okay, just because that person can give you some feedback and some suggestion. Always nice to go with a friend or a responsible adult choose a few items from what you're looking for i like to choose three okay choose them in a few different sizes just so that you can make sure that you're not running back and forth to check on size because all of the different clothing that they make sizing is sort of accurate but sort of not accurate okay so try out about three different items about what you're looking for and then ask okay ask either the responsible adult that you're with or your friend ask a salesperson before you choose ask them say what do you think which one do you think looks better what do you think about the quality of this item um, and go with your gut okay go with your gut and choose the item that you think will work for what it is that you want okay that's called going with your gut going with your intuition okay all kinds of fancy names for that once you've paid for the item and you've brought it home it's important to try it on again okay and i have something to show you here this is a little item that i purchased a few weeks ago okay and what I want to do is I want to make sure that I keep the tag when I'm trying it on again still fixed onto the item because if for whatever reason you change your mind it doesn't fit properly and you need to return it you want to make sure that the tag is on it and you want to make sure that you keep the receipt Okay, and that actually is a very handy question to ask before you ask, before you purchase the item. Ask them if they will return the item 
and if they will either give you a uh, card to purchase the uh, another item from the store or if they'll just give you your money back. All right, very important question. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Instagram so that you know when we drop some new stories and videos. And thanks so much for joining us. Have an awesome day. Bye.